Hello and welcome or welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this hedgehog. Today I'm, I will be making the larger one but I will also tell you how to little, make a little baby hedgehog. So I just um, altered the pattern a little bit and I'm going to explain, write it to you in the video um, what I'm doing different but um, it's very very easy to make and if you know, if you have been following me, you've probably seen my other hedgehog. Uh, these, they are made with the loop stitches and these are made with a change. So they are even more fluffy and than the original ones. And I also added some feet and ears and also added a bow on, on this one. And this one I added eyelashes and this one I just made eyebrows. The big one is about 19 centimeters. And the smaller one is about, I think uh, 10 centimeters is 4 inches. For the big one I used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I don't know if you can see this but this is a 3.5 or an E. And I used DK weight. This is from, from Hobby. So this is the yarn I used for the bigger one. And if you want to make a bigger one you're just going to follow the pattern like normal. Also you can find this timetable below, so you just click on, on this and you can skip to the different parts. For the smaller one, I used sports weight yarn, doesn't matter which one. And uh, this is much thinner, so I used a 3 mm crochet hook or size 5. And the only difference I did when I made a face, instead of increase to 30, like a, I saw, <laughs> like I this, did with this one. I did 30 uh, uh, stitches and only here I did 24 and I just stopped increase, uh, increasing and just did 3 rows with 24 stitches and I changed the color so just gonna, you can just increase um, until uh, 24 stitches if you want to make a smaller version of, of those. So I, I wish you fun with this video and if you have any questions or comment please write me below. Also I would like to hear what you think about this pattern and if you aren't uh, you can uh, also follow me and subscribe to the channel for weekly videos and uh, yeah we're just gonna start so make a magic ring if you don't know how to make one i have a video on that as well so chain one here and then do six single crochets in that ring so one two three four five and six now pull close now next round we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch so we have six single crochets now pull up your stitch marker and do increase in every stitch so single crochet increase six times now increase in every second stitch, so one increase, one single crochet in the next stitch and one increase in the next. You're going to repeat this all the way around until we have 18 single crochets. Now one single crochet in each stitch, so you have 18 single crochets. Now two single crochets, one, two, increase in the third until and repeat this all the way around until you have 24 single crochets. So the last increase round, one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two and three and increase here. Repeat this all the way around until you have 30 single crochets. And now you're just gonna do 30 single crochets for three rounds so one single crochet in each stitch for three rounds and you're just going to move up your stitch marker after each round and I will meet you after we have done those rounds and we're going to make the face features. So I just place the safety eyes here, just count the rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, between six and seven and then I have some thinner sports weight yarn. So to make eyelashes you just go underneath here and then just go out on an angle here and make 
a few of those and and when you go back inside again go back through the same hole so if I were to make eyelashes here want it a little bit longer like so and then I just go back in that same place and make the other lash okay so I think this one will get eyelashes if you want to make an eyebrow you're just gonna do it like this like so I did six stitches apart here Like so, and now, and you're happy, you can just tie a knot here, but don't tie too tight because uh, then you will ruin the shape of your eyelashes or eyebrows. And then for the nose, I'm using a little thicker yarn. So just go out here in the middle of the nose and make a little go on the side here on the after the first row around and then back up again in the middle and we're gonna make the other side we can just go here like so and make like a triangular shape here And now you're just going to fill in the blanks here. So I go in the middle again and So when you're done you can also like push the, the stitches towards each other so everything gets so now just push against the hard surface also if your eyelashes if you're not happy just take a needle and do like this little just careful maybe attach them a little higher up than I did and now I'm gonna change color here go through the last stitch here and then just Start like a normal single crochet and yarn over with the new color, like so. And now we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch and I am going to do 9 rounds. You can also do 10 or 8 depending how long you want your headshot to be. So when you are, when you're here just move up the stitch marker and continue in, in the same manner that we did with our hedgehog. On the original pattern we did the loop stitches here but now we're gonna create those loops afterwards when the hedgehog is, is done. So this is why you're just gonna do one single um, single crochets instead of uh, loop stitches here. When you're at the end of the round just move up your stitch marker and continue. So I will meet you after I had done my nine rounds and I'm going to show you how to do the decreases to and then we're going to stuff this one and then we're going to do the, the funny loops here. Now I had done my nine rounds and we're going to start with the decreases. So we're going to do three single crochets. So one, two and three and then we're going to do one decrease so insert the hook in the front loop only in the next two stitches grab the yarn and pull through yarn over pull through two repeat this all the way around one two three four five six seven eight 
two and three and then one invisible decrease like so so I'm gonna see you after this round and now we're just gonna do two single crochets one and two and then one decrease repeat this all the way around and after the last round you should have 24 single crochets and after this one you should have 18 and now you're gonna add some filling materials so push down your stuffing a little bit do one single crochet in the next and decrease in the next repeat this all the way around and now you're just gonna decrease in every stitch so do six decreases here and then we're gonna finish off the yarn and slip stitch the first stitch and now we're just gonna close the hole here so I like to just go through the front loop here or every stitch then just pull and then go back and out on a different place and pull here a little bit and now we're gonna do the loops okay so now you're gonna make a slip knot and attach it on your hook and I would suggest you start here somewhere so on the first Ra row on the first round we're gonna do those chains here in every stitch but as you go through the the hedgehog you don't have to do it in every stitch because this requires this will take a little time but it's so worth it because you get such a nice texture and then maybe do and then just do a slip stitch here now we're gonna chain 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now you're gonna slip stitch and stitch in that first chain like so and here is your loop and now slip stitch in the next stitch here because this is where we start the next loop do ten chains and then slip stitch in that first chain. I get chain I just go here on this side and then make sure that you have your yarn here in front of you because sometimes this can go around the chains on the side and now also it can happen that you can you pulling up a little cotton or a little filling material just try to just to go as to near on the stitch and um, but also if you pull up a little bit you won't see this because this is so dense so this is what we're gonna repeat And you can see you're gonna see it after after a couple of rounds that this will create a nice texture text you can you will see it better after a few rounds how this turns so I'm just gonna do a little bit more and then I will just do the, the round here and I'm gonna meet you here and I'm gonna show you I skip a few one row um, because you know you can tell and, and there's a lot of work to go through every stitch you can do, do whatever you want but I'm just gonna meet you after this round and now I have done one 
one round with those loops here and as you can see here are here is the first one I made and I didn't go through the, all the rounds here because those loops are so thick also I just I'm gonna show you I also didn't go through every stitch because that will save you a little work okay so here is the last one I'm gonna go through that one And slip stitch here so now you can just skip one stitch here and you can go through that one also in the next round and also or also in this round you can also skip the complete row and go just go th through the next one you're just gonna continue here and put your loops in those uh, stitches here and there isn't the right or wrong on how we're to put them because you're gonna it's gonna look nice either way in you like this uh, like I showed you and uh, I'm gonna see you after I have, uh, when I'm here, when we get to the last rounds I will meet you here and I'm just gonna continue doing my loops here around the hedgehog. So here is the prog progress that I made. I only have a couple of rounds left and this is what it looks like by me. I did not crochet these loops in every stitch because as you can tell um, you don't have to. So I'm going to continue here and uh, and just to, to make the rest and then we're going to make the ears and then the feet and then the hedgehog is ready. Now I have worked my way all around here I and mean, at the end I'm going to finish this now. So I have slip stitched into the other stitch here and I'm going to chain 10 and I'm going to make the last loop. And then slip stitch and, and cut the yarn and fasten off. So I made a color, uh, went out of yarn, uh, but I just made a knot here, changed the, the yarn, and I made a knot. And uh, when I sew them in, I can just grab both ends. And hide them like this. I'll pull here a little bit and cut the yarn, and then you can weave in that end as well. I start with a magic ring, chain one here. And now we're gonna make three single crochets in that ring. So one, two, and three. And now we're gonna make two half double crochets in the ring. So yarn over, grab the yarn, and yarn over and pull through all three loops. And do this two times. And now we're gonna do three more single crochets in that ring. here and then finish off with a slip stitch in the first stitch in the first single crochet and then leave a strand and then make a slip knot like so and now you can weave in here now you can fold the ear like this and then just sew back and forth a couple of times 
to make it stay folded like so and then you're gonna find a nice place to fasten those ears so maybe they are you can also pin them with needle to this to decide the position you can also pin them here with those pins Let's see what you like Are we sure so now we can attach them here I think So you need to thread your needle and then go here behind the ear. This is always hard to do on camera. I'm gonna try my best and then just pull and now go up again through the ear, through the loop here. And then you can remove that one. So I go up again on a slight different place. 11 stitches between the ears. So if you want to make this for children, you have to like um, pull on it a couple of times when you have sewn a little bit and see if it's if it's attached well enough like so and then you're gonna cut off the yarn they're very easy so just grab the beige color or the color you use for the face and the ear make a magic ring and we're gonna do five single crochets in that ring so one one two three, four, and five. Now pull the ring closed. Now we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch for four rounds. You can put a stitch marker here but since it's so small I'm just going to count. So one and five and now I can weave in this one here from the ring and now just continue and do four and um, five single crochets here one single crochet in each stitch for three more rounds when you're done just cut the yarn um, and leave a longer tail maybe longer than I did and then slip stitch in the next stitch and fasten off and then we're just gonna make until uh, you're gonna make three more and then we're gonna sew this on the hedgehog i am attaching the back feet so i just found a round here where i thought it was fitting and i just looking I'm looking where the front feet front foot is and i just find find a place here where i can um, attach them So I had some trouble with my um, my camera, so I already so the um, so I I'm just gonna show you real quick how I sewed on the the front feet. 
So I just went here, like on the side, like um, try to pinpoint where the mouth is, or just go a couple of like one, two, three, seven, eight stitches below the eyes. And then I had one, two, three, four, five, six stitches apart, and then I just position them with pins. You don't have to do the exactly same position like I did, but just pretend I haven't sewed on this leg now. So just hold it like this. I did not stuff the leg, so just hold it like so, and then go here just before the color change, and then just sew it on like so. And then go back and forth again like this and do this until you the, the leg is secure like we did with the other one. So this is how it is. Sometimes with those cameras they, uh, they stop working and um, to make a simple bow I'm grabbing some like, pink yarn and I'm just gonna chain seven. Now one single crochet in each stitch. I like to work in those back loops here, but you can also just do it here or there. Chain one and turn and now one single crochet in that first stitch and in the next five single crochets. And now we're going to do one more row. like so. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tag me there if you make a headshot. Also don't forget to uh, find me on Instagram and you can also share your work with me there. So I'm just gonna cut the yarn. I left a long tail and then I'm gonna... So I'm just sewing my way here to the middle, I just go through one loop there and then when you get to the middle point so then we're just gonna do it like this So wind it firmly, now we can grab the other end and also go a couple of stitches to the center. Also, I have a blog where I release uh, patterns and you can find also printable versions on my Etsy shop. And uh, I just want to thank you for watching and making this headshot with me. Now we can use those ends to... Also, with the, with the bow you're gonna sew it on just like we did with the ears and the legs. So just I just sewed it on a couple of stitches here away from the from the ears and I wish you a nice day goodbye